rug the other day and I said you know what it just needs some TLC cleaning so because I can see the beauty potentially that's waiting to be revealed because you can see how dark this is and how white that is and I see that in a few spots where this is kind of dirty looking and over here it's a little bit more bright white so I did beat it with a rug beater to get all the main dust particles out of the fibers. And then I vacuumed it with my Dyson um, vacuum. I actually had to use the smaller uh, Dyson head for carpets to really get in there because the big one, it, it was pulling it up into it so it prevented suction and cleaning. And then I went over it with the fluffy um, head vacuum cleaner because you know it's a little bit delicate. And what I'm gonna to do tomorrow um, is I did buy a carpet, some carpet cleaning tools and a, and a squeegee to do it with. And I'm gonna take some special detergent that does both microfiber, you know, delicate fabrics and wool. And I'm gonna clean this sucker tomorrow. And I'm gonna take it outside and I'm gonna give it a thorough cleaning, but I just had to check to see if it fit in my room like I expected it to. And I can see it's just, it's just waiting to be revealed. I mean, I can see it's a little dirty, no denying that. But I so see the potential of what this rug can and needs to be. So I'm excited to actually clean this tomorrow and really get the beauty of this thing showing through. I think it's gonna be absolutely gorgeous, especially because this one piece of white right there, I am suspicious as to what this rug is supposed to look like. And I think it's gonna be gorgeous. So um, I will walk through the process a little bit with you uh, tomorrow as I attempt to clean this rug to really bring out the beauty and the depth of color that I know is just waiting to be revealed here.
So I have good news and then I have really great news. Finally finished cleaning the rug and OMG, it is gorgeous. I don't know if you can see it. If I go one way, it makes it more brown. If I go the other way, it makes it more golden. But the areas where I had the white, look at this, it came through so beautifully. And remember here, it looked really dirty. Now look at that. It's just brilliant. It's come through so <laughs> beautifully. I mean, the whites are more white. The reds are more red. The edging, if you look at it in a certain light, it actually looks like gold um, on the big trim part here. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Oh my goodness. It's so beautiful. And I mean, look at this. It came out so perfect. It's just, wow. It's beautiful. And the great part is it's clean now. So I can, I can feel very comfortable about this now. Now what we did after, you know, we thoroughly soaked, rinsed, um, and cleaned this is we actually had a big fan. We, we laid out a tarp that had never been used brand new and laid this down on it in the garage on top of the tarp. And then we had a fan that we blew across it. And what I did is I tried to make it so that the fan wasn't angled at the tassels so that the tassels would stay kind of straight, but angle wise, a few of them curled, but that's an easy fix. Just taking um, a gentle brush to it and I might need to moisten it just a hair, not much, um, literally just a hair, right? Um, and it'll straighten these tassels up just fine. But other than that, I mean, this turned out beautifully. And it's interesting how the edge, you look at it one way in the lighting, because I also briefly put it outside in the sun um, to just give it a little bit of, you know, natural TLC cleaning to um, and give it a little bit more natural air dry. And I noticed that all the four corners here where it looked really brown before, it looked like gold in color in the sun. And if I look at it at a certain angle, even in here with the light just right, it looks golden. But I noticed if I vacuum it one way, It'll turn this golden looking edging brown, but vacuum it the other way, it looks the golden. So it does do a little bit of eye play with you, which is really cool. But uh, if you haven't ever, you know, cleaned a rug or you have a little bit of hesitancy over it, realize it's doable. It's something you can do. Now that doesn't mean it won't take your time because this was very time consuming to do. Um, it took hours <laughs> to just get this thing clean. So, you know, it's not for, oh, I'm going to get this quick done. No, it will take time. But what I found is it's best to do pressure washer. There we go. The pressure washer on the backside because the water then forces all the dirt out and down from the fibers so that when you flip it over, you can just basically clean off the dirt that releases. And then when it comes time to rinse, don't use the pressure washer. Um, my, my dad actually got too close on this and we started losing um, some of the threads with this using the pressure washer on the face. So use the just the regular hose, delicate setting, just lightly go through it. Just really saturate it with water to clean out the suds and get it thoroughly rinsed instead of the pressure washer, because the soap, you, you gotta get it thoroughly clean. It's kinda like washing you know, your own hair or even a dog. It's constant rinsing and cleaning to make sure you get all the soap out. So that's the big caveat I would say, but the, sque but the two tools that I bought, which was the uh, carpet renovator, I think is what it's called, and then my other rubber tool, which um, I will list for you in the description box, both of those I found were needed to do them because the carpet rejuvenator helped get into the fibers. And then the, um, the one that had the squeegee on it allowed us to do a light cleaning and then also really squeegee all the water off so it helped with the drying part of the rug. 
because we got the majority of the water off. One thing that we did say, oh, we forgot to do that we had planned on, which was we were going to use our wet dry vac and wet vac um, clean it just a little bit, just, just facilitate the drying process. So just a few um, tricks of the trade that we learned from our first attempt <laughs> cleaning the rug. Um, I will say it is doable, but again, you're going to have to acknowledge that it will take time, but the results, OMG, so freaking worth it. So I hope you get as good, if not even better results, depending on the age or the state of your rug um, from what we had and have lots of fun doing it in regards to the resulting beauty that you get to enjoy. Mm -hmm.